try it. And see, that's an uh, overkill, but training is okay. Okay, let's listen to Crystal here. She's gonna guide us. Okay, so family is Ga Ting. Ga Ting. Ga Ting. Ga Ting. Ga Ting. Ga Ting. Yes. So Ga basically means home. When you say that, it sounds. Why do you want me to speak Cantonese? Why do I want you to speak Cantonese? Yeah. Because you are one quarter Chinese. <laughs> I am not. You are, because I'm half. <laughs> Right? Daddy is half Chinese, right? So you take daddy and you split him in two. One side is Chinese and one side is Caucasian, right? Yeah, but... And then you take mommy and she's all Caucasian. So the Chinese is getting whittled away. When you grow up and if you get married and you decide to have kids of your own, huh. and if you marry a uh, Caucasian, then your children will only be one-eighth so if you take something and you cut it into eight pieces, only one of those pieces will be Chinese. See, it becomes less and less. And they become, it's like this and it becomes less and less. That's and right, less. you're kind of whittling that away. It's like with that. And, and I would like you to know a little bit about where your grandfather comes from. Fu Chan. My, my dad. So your, yeah, 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 yeah. Or you, you can say, your aye. Your aye. So, hello, can you come <laughs> back up here, please? Still okay. Oh, yeah. oh still okay. Frank Lee came to Canada in 1960. He's a grandmaster of white crane kung fu, who's devised his own style of full contact fighting.
Today is his 70th birthday. He is my father. But I don't really know the man. I only know the legend. My father worked at the Phoenix Cafe in Edmonton, Alberta in the early 1960s. <laughs> His job was waiting and busting tables, helping in the kitchen, whatever needed to get done, from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. One night, when they were dating, my mother came to see him. Knowing what might happen, he kept her close by. And sure enough, a fight broke out. And my father was called in to take out the trash. See you. Cold. It's How cold was out. your drive? It was good. It's good. It, it is sad that you don't know more about not just who Frank is, but about about your own culture and your and your history, because it is your history too. It's not just Frank's history. It's yours as well, isn't it? And it's your children's. I don't know how old Graydon was. It's probably before he was a year old. I had this, this nightmare, and I'm with Graydon. I've got him there. I'm apologizing to him, because I'm not, I'm dying. I'm not gonna be there for him. And I didn't have the dream again, but you know, it always, it just, sat in my gut. And I tried to figure it out, like, what the hell was that about? <laughs> and it's about Frank, my relationship with him, and that disconnect, and how these kids aren't gonna know him. They're not gonna know that side of themselves. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know him, really. The way I have to connect with him is to go into his world is to dive into that ocean of the gym, mm -hmm. of the fight club. But I'm gonna get him to train me to, so I can get in the ring with Levi, and get in the ring with Billy, and get in the ring with some of these guys who live there. You're joking, no? Or you're not? I'm not joking. I think you're nuts. Sorry. I love you to death, but I think you're nuts. I'm going to say it's a long shot. I see the kind of husband and father you are. And it's not anything like the husband and father Frank was. Got to try. How many days will you be there at Edmonton? How many days will I be in Edmonton? Yep. Probably at least, uh, probably at least a couple weeks, maybe three weeks. Yeah, Daddy's gonna go spend some time with Grandpa. Who? Well, who's his daddy? And what does Grandpa Frank do? He has a gym.
Despite being estranged for so many years, my father has agreed to train me at his gym once again. A three-hour drive north, away from my own family. Though I don't know where this might take us, today I'm putting these shorts on that I haven't trained in for 25 years. I have always either seen my father through the eyes of other people or through the eyes of that little boy inside of me. Now I need to learn to see him with my own eyes. And to do that, I know I have to enter his world. I haven't smelled this in a long time. Yeah? I haven't put this on. Yeah, so the smell ready to go. <laughs> The head first, you follow me, and uh, we can uh, walk together. You step back a little bit, yeah, right there. Okay, left to right. Up, down. So you feel the hamstring pulling, that's the way to go stretching. Up. Yeah, so I see now you're hopping, you go. Don't do that. That's not floating. Because on the future, like a pam, pam, pam. I can make the long distance short. Bang, bang. Ah, move faster. I'm going to hit you. Come on. Hey, hey. See? Lean back. Put all the weight on the back. Ready? One. Two. Three. Got it. Relax. You OK? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy, you know. Nah. From here. Push. Pain. Leaping hole. Land on the side stand. Push. Jump. Well, I guess you're not a world champion yet. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Come on. Step. That's it. That's my man. Come on. I feel like all the work I did training when I was a kid yeah. is gone. No, it's we're like not. erased. You see, you got some man. Just like your bicycle. Mm, you never forget. Don't worry about it. Doesn't never feel forget. like it. I says, bang, roundhouse kick. Bang. At that. Two or three times. Go on your own. Hey. You no, know, but it's not easy. And it's not Let's supposed to be easy. Let's Let's go. Go. Yeah. Hup. Right there. Pace. Perfect. My father is also a promoter. And tonight we're setting up for an amateur event. I've always understood that you have to step into the ring and do battle to prove yourself as a fighter.
One of my father's fighters, Darcy, lost a five-round unanimous decision in the final fight of the night. He needed stitches to close his lip, and the doctor was concerned he might have a concussion. Where's your brother? And just tell me where you feel the tension. There. OK, and do you feel it in the neck, the back, the shoulder? That's not bad, actually. No, mostly in here. In the top, OK? Oh, God. It's been a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Any pain as I do that? Yeah, a little and bit. And where are you feeling that right uh, in the joint? Sorry, I'm just trying yeah. again. It's um, in the set, almost shooting right here. OK. And into, into there. No new injuries. We don't need anything else. No more. We've got our problem yeah. list here. It's it's quite full. Wow. That one's electric. Yep. So this is almost like the opposite of massage. Instead of driving in, we'll pull apart the tissue layers. Now it feels better than it was. So daddy's going away for the rest of the week, right? Uh, 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 and get better, OK? We hug? Yeah, hug. Uh, Love you. Daddy. Love you. Love you. I'm going to see you. All your brothers, what's a chief for me? Have fun. The father bring father and parent. Your parents bring you in life, bring you in the world. I am teach you how to be facing the world. I am make you healthy. I am make you a, a mental and physical health. So from now on, you will be carry on my method to be forever. <laughs> what do you think that easy, man? <laughs> I don't think it's easy. And go! Like you're fighting. Go! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Come on, how you grab your hand? That's how you grab your hand. And a bang, that's what I get you. Hey, eh? that's a different kind of technique. <laughs> that's a different kind of technique. It's a magical. But you got the, you just, that's a kung fu magical. You know? Pump! You move, you don't move. Pump! <laughs> you don't move, you're gonna eat the bullet. Pump! You move this way, your head this way. Are you okay? Not too tired? Frustrated. Why? You're doing okay. 
<laughs> should be easier. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 you think, right? Yeah. Not like you make movie that easy. So therefore, when I hit high, pam pam, I hit like that. Jab, hook, right hand. That's it. You see? Make him turn. Make him. Uh, when he don't hit back, continue combination. When he hit back, protect yourself a little bit. Stop your combination. Don't drop your hand. Good enough? Yeah. Take lots of stamina out. But you're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah. You're doing good. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. I told you I weighed 171 pounds when I started. <laughs> I told you, and don't kill yourself. 158 pounds. Don't kill yourself. Yeah, that's not killing yourself. You work too hard. You got no, nothing no, no, no. to prove. You had to have a, a training schedule, like level. Like. You want to be, from here, I want you to train from here. Good shape, good flexible, not here. Here, when you build, uh, build yourself as a, a fighter, I want you to be underneath the fighter, that's all. Every day, like this, you'll be a uh, burnout. you burn out for sure. Not only your mind, your body gonna burn out. Terry Williams has trained with my father longer than anyone else. He began White Crane Kung Fu in 1973, when he was 12 years old. His dedication to the martial arts is exceptionally rare. Despite the demands of his legal practice, he trains six days a week. He speaks fluent Mandarin, and he's traveled to China many times. Terry proves that you don't have to be a fighter in order to dedicate yourself to the martial arts. Wow, <laughs> thanks. Now you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think of your father as my Sifu. In uh, Mandarin, it's uh, Shifu. And Shi means teacher, and Fu means father. In Confucian uh, thinking, it's someone that you uh, you almost have to obey, and who teaches you the the techniques and and things, but who also guides you in a broader sense. And I think what really distinguishes your father is he's not only a great martial artist, but he's a great teacher. It's only after like quite a few years of studying Chinese culture and literature and everything, that I can kind of start to understand where your dad's coming from. And so the traditional Chinese thinking is very much a part of who your dad is, but at the same time, he doesn't fit completely in that. He's independent of it and uh, all, you know, a little bit more modern too. So there's, there's a bit of a tension there. Hey, well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Corey, let's, uh, let's uh, start to working out. Okay, uh, this round, I want you to do this, this kind of, don't use the power. Yeah, you aim me, aim on me. Two feet, I mean one feet, two feet. 
Go ahead, snap it. That's right, again. Good. Good, now follow the low kick here. Pang, pang. Do it slow. That's why I'm gonna hit you here from between, look at how I lift you up. As soon as I lift up, I let it go and then go boom. Huh? If you're still not dead, right? Bam, you're dead for sure. Like, how do you kick? Shoot that way more. No, shoot straight. That way, yeah. Hey, oh, hey, bang. I see you don't follow this. Kick, bang. Bang. Pong. To me, I don't let you have a chance. Pong, pong, pong already there. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. See the idea? Yeah. It's a capture and kill. Okay, good. I'm going to get Billy, give you that elbow and knee. I work on it. Hey, straight up your head. Ooh, you're huge, okay? Hey, just like you kick. Yeah? Just like you kick. Wait. Hey, touch. 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 Hey, In 1985, my dad took me along as part of the team when he and Billy went to Reno, Nevada for a shot at the world title. Being with them at that fight was one of the only times that I felt like I was a part of what my father was building. World Championship Kickboxing, the world's most exciting contact sport. Welcome back to the biggest little city in the world, the biggest hotel casino in the world, the MGM Grand. I'm Bruce Presley, along with Bob Perry, WK World Championship Kickboxing. Bob, we got a good one for him. Oh, we're looking forward to it. We talked to the fighters, the crowd, the the talent here tonight is incredible. Really? And the ring hey, girls, hey, the hey, ring hey. girls are ready. Oh, yeah, ring we're, girls are ready. Everybody's ready. When was the last time you watched this? Today? When was the last time you long, saw your fight? A long time ago. Yeah. Now, Billy Chow is probably known uh, worldwide, especially in Hong Kong. He's the Hong Kong champ, the Canadian champ, the world champ. He's a movie star in Hong Kong, 16-4 and four record, 10 knockouts. But he's got a tough one tonight. He's got a real tough fight. Uh, like you say about Billy, he's uh, often talked about being one of the best all-around fighters in the world, a master of the ring. Chow with a good kick to start with. Bennett's trying to get inside again. You'll see Bennett come at him quickly, but uh, this is surprising me. Chow is uh, actually does not look as cold as we anticipated him coming in. Bennett with a good right that time that snuck in on Chow. He has not been that effective with his kicks. Chow's kick. Oh, good. Punching great right that time. Was he a hard puncher? Do you remember that, Billy? Yeah. 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 Hard puncher. Incidentally, uh, Frank Lee, the gentleman working on him, uh, one of the greatest trainers I think in the world today. Great. <laughs> Mouths are better. <laughs> it's still, before it's still a little bit rookie. That may be a bad move at this point. Oh, 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 oh. Combination jack, front push kick, mouse kick. Say by the bell. We see him over in his corner. He looks like he's okay. He's sitting down. Oh, again. Oh, again. <laughs> Caught him with the right hand, though, there. Yeah, okay. Says, yeah. Von Milsen, yeah. The dragon. That's it. The combination. Oh, world champion. Wait, wait, I'm okay. Yeah. Hey. It's okay. No, no, no. 
I've been hurt that uh, a little bit. No problem, okay? I'll be okay. Of course I'm okay. Just a little bit crack in my, my, my bone. Old bones like that, I'll be okay. Okay, time to turn around. I will just uh, relax a little bit. Okay. Okay, ready? Ten One, Yeah, you know, I haven't been here since. Ah, uh... uh, yeah. Last year, no, I'm not here. Like... That's it? Uh, uh. <laughs> so, that's good. See, my, my dad is uh, 1911 and then 1984. Yeah, I couldn't remember the year that that Grandpa passed away. Yeah, they... I remember that I was pretty young, you know? You were young, yeah. Seventy-some, one or two. Mom is a hard work lady. My dad, I don't... I don't... Sorry about that. I don't really care. They don't... He don't really care about me. Because I wrote hundreds of letters, he never opened it. Come on. Uh, well, even when you did come over, right, you... Like, you just described. I knew that. I knew that you never, you always were weighed down by that. When I'm in the spotlight all the time, I'm almost like a Hollywood star, right? When you on that, you got a nice body, you got a charisma, you, you get bound to have a lot of females uh, uh, come to you. Sure, I love you, mama. No. No doubt about it. All right. But you know, that means the sideline is that you cannot fight them off. Sometimes the, the force is so so strong. That, and you know, I'm not asking you then, to talk about no, no, that. I have to tell there, you about but... it, right? And then I that's why I owe you, mom, because I'm fooling around. I think the biggest mistress was not another woman. I think it was the gym. I think it was the martial arts. I think I it was all that you were trying to build. I understand. You know what I mean? I understand. A man, you had to build an empire. I make sure you guys have a bread and butter and a at the table and then roof over the head. Yep. I never regret that because my dad never gave it to me. Yep. I got business like at the gym, right? And I got a house paid for, I got five cars, I got a wife, I got a daughter, I got a kid, I got a son. That's a typical. Uh, American, North American uh, family. Was that something you ever consciously wanted, though? Are you kidding? I never, I told you, mom, you mom come to me. I'm just a cook or whatever, wait on the table. I cannot make you a good life. You know, when she first saw me fight, she was scared to death. Sure. You know, that's my potential there. <laughs> but you said she was the one who pushed you to, you know what I mean, to, to teach. And she the one to take me out of the Chinese circle. And that's why. And you think without that, you would have never no, gone to where you are. Without her, if I if I marry a Chinese girl, I'll be a restaurant owner. That's about it. Not me. We build up two, two, uh, two of you uh, together. Uh, uh, that's my crystal ball. My family is my crystal ball. From nothing to build up, so nice. Then when she broke the news to me and shattered, won the divorce, that crystal ball boom drop, shattered. After five months, I'm finally starting to feel like there is an emotional connection between my father and me. We've built a bridge to walk across and find each other. It's a good feeling. Yeah, I don't know. 
darker? Yeah. That's you, that's my favorite out of what you show me. That's here. what I, I think the best uh, yeah. in my choice too. Yeah. They give you a fifteen percent off. You know what I wish I still had? My old Frank Lee's jacket. Remember the original ones, the bomber style. Oh, ones? The bomber style. That worth a lot of money, man. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Okay. No, no, you don't thank me. You pay for it. I didn't. You pay. help me. You help me pick it up. I don't have nothing. A chief will help you. <laughs> thank A chief you. will help you. <laughs> my grandmother tried to get my dad away from the gangs and violence in the streets of Hong Kong by putting him into boarding school in 1956. Six months later, he was delivered by the principal to my grandmother's workplace. The principal told her the underground had invaded his school. And Frank was told never to return. Yeah. That's about it. It hasn't been since 56 oh, that you came here. It's been uh, over half a century already. 54 years. 54 years. Soon they come in the gate, I remember. I'm glad I, I bet once. So. This is an old building, so I, but not much memory, yeah. But that, the schoolyard, you remember? Yeah, this is schoolyard, I, I, I remember that, yeah. The building is here, yeah. but my, my classroom is at that one, yeah. on that side. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I turn around, I see that, I see that, the playground here. The From sun, the sun. classroom? From the classroom. Yeah. Huh? I'm seeing it. So what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> when I was here, they don't have this thing. If they have this thing, I'll rip it off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was I was pretty famous in here for a few months. <laughs> so after you got punted out of boarding school, was all that your was time? About, Did you spend more, more time here? Uh, all here. I, after that, I oh yeah, complete takeover uh, the teaching and everything. I come here to sleep sometime, even so late, you know, because uh, I don't have a bed in my, my room up there. I, I have a nice comfortable here. Sleep, even yeah. sleep on the floor, right? Yeah. You got how many times would you come? Well, I can come every night. You know how kids are, right? Huh? I want to learn, you know, because I'm from the street. I want to learn how to fight. The trip with my father has coincided with Billy's return to his own gym in Hong Kong. It's a rare opportunity to train with Billy in the house that he's built. Same guy, different look, handsome looking, more uh, gentle. It's good, nice to have a little chest, you see? All right, nice. Okay, good. I like more. They don't mean that, they don't mean that. I'm all, my mom, they need it, I said, honey.
My dad told me of the many letters he wrote to my grandfather all those years that they spent apart. I know how hurt he was when he discovered them all unopened. I stored the letters my dad wrote to me while he was away in Hong Kong in the early 1980s in a shoebox on a closet shelf along with other important memories from my childhood. Being back in this city where he wrote them, the place where his legend began, seemed like the perfect opportunity to tell him just how much they meant to me. Oh, I think somehow there's more food coming. Yeah. <laughs> New World Hotel. 80. 25th of February, 1983. Oh. Dear Corey, your picture in the journal looks very good. You must have done a good job of it. And having fun too, of course. I'm very proud of you, son. And I miss you very much. Mom told me that you're doing well at school. You look after the kids' class very well on Saturday. Hmm. And then you laugh, ha. I like how you write, <laughs> ha. Big boy, don't forget to train yourself too. Dad loves you very much. Things are getting busy now. Thank uh, God for helping us. Good news will come. <laughs> and I'll phone home and tell, all, tell it all to you. No, I just wanted to thank you for this trip, you know? I know it's not, uh, like I said, you weren't that excited about doing it. That well, thanks. I told you, like, uh, on the beginning, I don't exciting things. Yeah. But as it progresses, when things done, I'm so happy. Before yeah. I try to make, make my empire come up, I spent all 20 years to build them up, right? Mm -hmm. So that means, uh, put it that way, I take a lot out of the family life, you know? But your mom is really good. She looked after you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, then she, she leave me facing outside. I don't lose. I don't want to lose a guy, but it's the way it goes. You know, my crystal ball broken, I gotta say. You know, when I, when I divorce, I want, I want to change my name. I want to forget myself. I want to throw away everything. You know, move away, you know. But I'm not a loser. It's really hard for me, my life. But as life goes on, you know, hey, you know, man, I'm happy your mom got what he should. I cannot even get to her, you know. But the life, see, <clears throat> so I had to, I don't know, I had to put it away. I had to say, forget it, I'm dying, you know, I'm dead. So make myself forget about. But it couldn't happen, still dreaming all the time. Okay, Corey, you pay first. Now, this one's uh, do some power. I'm gonna get a close close up. Power. Two, three. 
All right. That's called follow the wind punch. My invention. And then, pum, 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 yeah, pum, pam, pam. Yeah, see that? Pam, pam, don't stop here. Strike it, hey. Hello, hello. Come on in. Come in, come in, come in. Come on, watch your daddy uh, do kung fu. Here, come with mom. Why don't you guys sit over here? Sit down, yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. No, there's one punch. Follow the high kick, punch it for a low kick, hook, knee, overhead. Oosh. Hey, hey, go! Oosh. Bang! Yeah, bang! Got it. Oh, Hey, Catherine, Corey's uh, pretty good, huh? You wanna fight him? <laughs> you know what? Grandpa and I used to come here all the time. Yeah, we finished training, and we come to eat. I come here too. All the time. Yeah, you come here too, yeah. Here, when you are, when you get older, you can come to, uh, come with your dad, train with me, and um, we can come again, again, again. Oh, that's your oh. Oh. Oh, that's your dad's a favorite, Nulu. What do you want? I want some, some more of your soup. You want some more of these? Yeah. <laughs> do you like these? <laughs> you want me to get one for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, Grandpa. Hey, there you go. Thank you, Grandpa. Can you grab one? Grab. There you go. Say thank you. Can you say, you remember how to say it in Cantonese? Mungoi mm Sai. -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And when someone gives you a present, what do you say? Do you remember that one? No. Doje. Doje. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Awesome. My father has a seven-year-old daughter with his second wife. <laughs> Watching our children play together helps me to imagine our new future oh. as a family. Yeah. <laughs> Did Daddy go teaching you? Grandma. Grandpa, come in. Come in there. Okay. Come in. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's my third generation. Okay. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> good. Three. Just wait, Gray. Just wait, you Okay, turn. Gray, you too. Uh, Dexter, you do this one. You do this one. Palm. Good, Kate. Hey, punching. Catherine, Kate. Hey, good one. Ah, good. Hey, Kate. Oh, oh. Ah. Hey, get there, get there. Kate, good one. Hey. Can you see it? Hey, ouch, don't hurt your toe now. That's a good one. You can. That's it, yeah, good one. <laughs> Try again. Oh, nice. Go again. One, two. Come on. Okay, a knee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good, eh? Okay. Okay, yeah, knee. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, you do. One, two. Okay. Since we started on this journey, my father has given me everything I've asked of him, and more. I realize after all this time that he was waiting for me to come to him. Okay, let's see you get ready. Whoa! 